Guys, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news, turns out the N64 overheated on us and just gave out. Yeah, I did a little, I recorded a little blurb to throw on the end of the last episode about that. Gotcha. <laughs> the good news is we still have our progress. Yay! I think. We should. I believe it saved after we beat Wellbar. So, we just gotta go back to the Quagmire, finish up literally three things in Grunty Industries, and then we can just move on. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> I'm actually curious to see if uh, Weldar's alive and well, <laughs> or still beheaded. Or if you have to take him out again. Yeah. I think that's the only thing I'm concerned about. And honestly, I'm fine either way. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm not terribly worried about it. Because it's just Weldar stuff, and then everything else is on the third floor. Okay, you're a step ahead of me on that front. Yep. No, no, I looked this shit up because uh, we're doing we're doing all the rest of the Grunty Industry stuff that we can do in this episode. I don't care how much I have to cut it. <laughs> the dedication. Because I am... We did an entire three-hour session on just this stage. We're not doing more episodes than this <laughs> of this stage. Well, judging by this... I'm gonna say he's dead. I believe so. Uh, there, there is also another thing if you go back and run along the pipe behind him. Yeah, I was gonna. Oh, there's the notes we missed. There's also a notes. So we'll just go ahead and. This is leads you to another area. Does it? Yes, which you'll want to explore as well. Okay. Well, let's. Since I'm guessing that's a point of no return, let's go ahead and take care of this. Yeah. And I don't think there's any penalty for... Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't want to be in the goo in the very bottom here, but otherwise you can I go think I can there. make that jump. There you go. <laughs> I was a little concerned because I missed my air jump. <laughs> but it's okay. We live life dangerously. We got... What's over here? Oh, I think I know where this drops you out. I think this drops you out in that vent that we were trying to run up before mm. in the first floor hub area. I see. Okay. That we determined was an exit because we couldn't enter it. <laughs> yeah, the, the game doesn't expect you to get up there. No, I don't think it does. Yeah, because there's a page on the other side here. Yeah, and we'll grab that. 3D jumps suck sometimes. <laughs> At least this thing is fairly stable for a cylinder. Okay, so that's the last page. Oh, I, I thought that would alter the can Oh, I have none of those. Interesting. Oh, yeah, because you used up the last one in the World R fight fruitlessly. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's okay. They're pretty easy to restock on. If just a slight pain. Yeah. Because now I just hang out. Yay. Look, I got one. I am not waiting for the other. <laughs> well, I guess now you can go into the fan area. Sure. I'm down for that. Works for me. I don't actually recall what all there is to do over here. Aside from, you know, getting the jiggy that you already got here. Yeah. Because normally this fan is blowing and it will just blow you away. Hmm. But turning off Weldar turned off the fan. For, you know, the place we've totally been to before. Ah, oh, you jerk. Waste disposal? Okay. Yeah, because I feel like there was another way to get in here yeah. that we completely missed. Is this the other side? Oh, that's a split up path. Oh. Interesting. I'm going to have to remember this because you also have to come back here when you come back later. Okay. Uh, with Banjo's other move. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Just gonna ignore you guys. Yeah. So, I think all we really have left to do is A, not be able to see where we're going. Yeah. Okay. And... Neat. And B... Uh, 
uh, do the mini game. Uh, mini game, and then there's also a uh, honeycomb. Oh, okay, game. Oh, that that's where that comes out. All right. Okay, game. All right, neat. Sure, why not? Not what I was expecting, but whatever. But okay, yeah, that means everything else is on the third floor. Okay. I'm gonna just warp pad it. Can I just guess not? Okay, cool. Let's go. I don't feel like being an industrial warlord anymore. Please no. <laughs> Please let us be done with this place. Oh, floor three. Floor three's mazy though. Yeah. Well, we gotta get back to the Twinkly Muncher. Actually, we just need to get back to near the boiler area for both of the things that we still need to do here. All right. So here's a question. Meow. I feel like this uh, mini game is going to be easier Kazooie only. Probably. Instead of uh, Banjo and Kazooie, or as we saw, just Banjo. Yeah, fuck doing it, it's just Banjo. Does it, will it let me though? That is the good question. And can you get there, it's just Kazooie? Probably. I don't think there's anywhere I can go as just Banjo that I can't as just Kazooie. Well, Banjo can climb and yeah, ledge grab. But Kazooie can do this. But she can't ledge grab. I feel like there should be something in there. Yeah, I have no idea how to get there, by the way. Oh. Okay, that's just that. Alright, neat. Uh, the boiler area required climbing up on, like, the tops of the boxes and going across a platform up there, which is why I'm not sure you're going to be able to get there as just Kazooie. Oh, that should be easy. Oh, that, uh, that actually worked. Alright, so what I have to do is do this. I think you're sliding off slightly down. Alright. <laughs> I think I can gain a little bit of height when I uh, do that in a proper order. Yeah, because there's the boiler plant. Neat. Apparently that honeycomb is just in a box near that door. Okay. Uh, and Down then, this way, I think. Yeah, it's between the two things. Yeah, because I think you can do this as just Kazooie. I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah, Looks okay. Like. Now for speed. Oh, there's Kazooie shoes. And there's Kazooie boots. All right, neat. Wow, this really sucks as just Banjo, huh? Apparently, this is the way they planned for you to do this. Although it still gives banjos noise when you put them on the thing. <laughs> eh, whatever. I mean, yeah, if it works. Again, I have no idea how many you're supposed to need here. Oh well. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Because they distinctly have not been stating how many you need. <laughs> Oh, cool, it just spawned right on you. Neat. Quite a few, it looks like, actually. <laughs> ah, I couldn't... Yeah. I lost track of the time. But I want my bonus. I want my dragon bonus. That's okay. Now, now we know the leech strats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ready, fine. Boots. <laughs> These boots are made for running. Honestly, I wouldn't even bother with the red ones. I mean, if Unless there's there, nothing else them. there. It's not like I, it slows me down all that much. Fair, I think there is like a max that you could slow down. Like, the max I'm slowed down is Banjo's max speed. <laughs> At least that's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, that is really weird. You. 
Y... Pony Wow, this feels super RNG dependent. A little bit. Is that good enough? I guess you needed 40 or 45. I'll take it and never do this again. Yay! This has easily been the hardest minigame so far. Oh yeah, I'd say so. Uh, no. I don't want to. You're even greener than usual. The boots only appear during the minigame. That's... Fine, I can accept that. So you said just right outside the boiler room? Yeah, apparently there's some boxes there that you can break and get a heart or get a uh, honeycomb. Sure, I guess. Yeah. Doop -a -doop -a -doo, doop -a -doop -a -doo. Ah, I would guess it's that one up top there. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at. It's traversing Beyblade! long distances. Uh oh. Oh, I think you can break the, that box for a spring pad. Yeah. That works. With nothing in there. I guess maybe you already did this. That doesn't make sense. I don't remember doing that. But um, I did! Parent, maybe it just triggered and didn't give you the sound effect. Alright. Well, I don't know. Well, whatever the case, uh, I guess it's time to go get Banjo. <laughs> well, that didn't take nearly as long as we thought it would. Banjo's happy. That took like 10 minutes. Uh, I guess I don't even need a death warp, it's just it's right here. Yeah. Just warp out of here and let's unlock the next stage. Works for me. But the roof outside. But the roof outside! Fair. <laughs> Going out in style. Gotta kill that one last dude. Let's see. Which way is the exit? That way. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Off hey. we go! You are completely wrong. There's the exit. <laughs> I was not completely wrong. I was only <laughs> mostly wrong. Alright. I'll take it. <laughs> could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. All right, cool. So now we just gotta go unlock the next place, and I believe the next place is Hailfire Peaks. You, how many times have you said that now? I I just like Hailfire Peaks. If it's if Hailfire Peaks ends up being the last stage, I'm going to be dumbfounded because I am 99% sure that the last stage is Cloud Cuckoo Land. Wait, this isn't where I want to be. No, it is not. I keep thinking King Jinjo is the one who does all the good stuff for me. King Jinjo is a I know. Zombie. He's not in the best of places right now. <laughs> I get that. We do back, also have cheats. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Eh. Maybe we'll do all the cheats uh, after we go back and do all the cleanup. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, Jiggy Boy. Let's see it. You only need 36 Jiggies to unlock the second to last stage in the game. I think you might be getting your wish. Oh yeah, this is definitely Hellfire. Oops. I wanted... That's not where I wanted, but I'll take it. Yeah. I mean, if they're gonna give it to you... You know, realistically, I should probably be paying attention to where the image is being shown, but I'm just going entirely by the shapes. <laughs> they, they all have the same shape. Oh. Unless they're edge pieces. I know, but like, just about everything is an edge piece. You know, you're not wrong. 
Why do I feel like there's challenge modes of these puzzles? I don't know. Maybe. Why do I feel like that's a thing, but also feel like that I'm misconstruing that from a different game? Also possible. You're the one with the history on this, not me. <laughs> history on this being mostly get through like the first couple of stages and then get confused and play something else. <laughs> ah yes, the mighty Jiggy Wiggy shows off his powers. Yeah, we saw how great my history with this game was in the last stage. <laughs> Also, I feel like this stage should be a lot sooner just because they have it right here so early. <laughs> they wish to taunt you, don't you know? Kaboom. I know this is where you get the claw clamber. I believe this is where you get glide. Although I'm actually that... kind of looking forward to glide. Although... That could be fun. Although glide might actually be in Cloud Cuckoo Land. I also have enough to ah, forget it. And you I... know the drill, old man. And I th think it's one of Banjo's other backpack skills that you get there as well. We. One of the two that you need in, uh... What's a bucket? <laughs> uh... Having a bit of a brain fart there? Yeah, one of the two skills you need in Grunty Industries. I believe you get here. No time to explain. Straight to stage. Let's go. Yes, please. <laughs> I could have gotten more life. I don't care. I'm impatient. That's okay. Because we can go and explore this glorious stage. The lava side of this glorious stage. Oh, hey. I haven't beaten up on you in a hot minute. Hey, You finally made it to the lava world. And we're gonna go kick his ass, sea bass, in the next episode. As he dances merrily. Mm, I almost feel bad already. Yeah, I also feel bad cutting off while we have a cutscene going. I mean, it's over, right? Maybe. It's thinking about it. It's thinking hard about it. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>